right within the moment, moment. And don't go wait until the morning, morning. All that I know is we'll get older, older. So let us dance this night away. Then we'll dance the night away. I moved to a new campsite because I'm staying a few extra days. Decided to do that because I can. And now I'm on a water site. I'm not right on the water, but they consider this a water site. And I'm very close to the water. Instead of being across the street, I'm on the same side of the street. Excuse me, as the river. Yep, and I'm in 11. It's a good number when you're paying, playing dice, 11-11. And I'm right next to Lone Star Rider Rex. There, oh, there's my pelican. There's Rex's camp, which is really makes it convenient. Plus, when the sun moves over to the other side, goes to the west, I get real nice shade over here. And I'm letting all my solar lights dry out because it rained and rain got in my solar light bucket. So I had to empty the water out and let my lights dry out. You know, stuff happens. It's just the way it is on the road. You know, I just got to tell you, everything's not all hunky-dory. We have our days. You know what I mean? No matter where you live, whether you live in a house, sticks and bricks, or a, or a bricks and mortar, whatever you want to call it, or if you live in a moving house on wheels, stuff breaks down stuff happens oh but something good did happen today uh, um a while back not that long ago i saw a notification on the news that there was a class action lawsuit on google so i went there i filled out the form because i was eligible for it and i got a check today you remember i told you about that once before with facebook Facebook, I got my check. I got over $400. This time, I got $95. And let me tell you something. I could use that money. Yeah. It's going to come in handy for gasoline on my ride home. Let me know if you filled out the paperwork for the Google class action lawsuit. Rivera, I think it was Rivera at all against Google LLC. I think that's what the name of it was. So this is where I am. Yep, I am right really close to all the water compared to where I was before, which was... Uh, my feet are still swollen. Which was... Oh, new people in my campsite are ready where that black truck is. Yep, they're all parked in there. It was. And here's where I am now. Right by the water. And right directly across the street from the head, from the loo, from the john, from the parter room. Yep, here comes the sun. But I think there's going to be some rain because I felt a couple of drops. Oh, and those bugs I thought were bees. They're not bees. They're like this ginormous bug, that almost like a June bug. I'm going to show you. Hold on. Oh, they're, they're big. And there are a lot of them right here, but they'll go away like in the afternoon. They're like, come out in the morning to feed on the, the grass and stuff. Hold on, I'm gonna show it to you. I don't know what the heck kind of bugs these are. I thought they were bees, but they're not. But they hover all over the clover fly around and dive bomb you. I'm going to have to find out what kind of bugs they are. They do not look like they sting. Could be like a giant June or July bug. I don't know what they are. They're not stink bugs. But man... So I look like a wreck, oh, but then I guess this is how I always look lately. 
Um, when I was moving my camp, this lady in the camp across the way from me came over and gave me a gift. She goes, I got something for you in my pocket. And she had her dog in the other hand and she was like, reach in my pocket. Well, I'm a little leery about reaching in somebody's pocket. So I reached in because she goes, look, and I looked first and she said, there's a card in there. So I looked in there and I looked at the, and there was a card in there and look at the card. It was a Blue Lives Matter card. Isn't that nice? But inside the Blue Lives Matter card was this that she hand crocheted, she did on her sewing machine. Oh, she just came in my car. Ah. And I'm gonna, isn't that nice? Now this is not her email. This is another lady who does them as well as her and she doesn't do anymore, but they used to use this card. So you can tie this, I can tie that on my rearview mirror. You can, if you're active LEO, you could put it in your pocket or your uniform uh, or in your vest or whatever. So I'm gonna put it on my rearview mirror in my car and it is the, the uh, black with the blue line. And it's, she did it on her embroidery sewing machine. It's very nice. Thank you so much for that. I appreciate it. I think her name was Bev. Thanks, Bev. And then I met another really nice lady who actually also, she works for the uh, National Park System, I think she said, or she did work for the National Park System. And her name is Karen. And she was, she lives here in Sevierville or, or either in Sevierville or in Kodak, not sure which, but right in this area. And she was here doing her daily walk. And she stopped to talk to me while I was, you know, taking all my stuff from one campsite to another. We had a nice little chat and she was a really nice lady. So I wanted to do a shout out to Karen also. Thanks for stopping to make the time to meet me and say hello. And I'm just a stranger to you, you know, and uh, I appreciate that. So thank you very much, ladies. I hope you're having a wonderful day if you're watching me or if you're not watching me, but if you're watching me, I hope you see this and you're having a wonderful day. And everybody out there, I hope you're having a wonderful day too. Today's gonna be a good day. Today's gonna be a good, good day. Oh my God. So I wish I would've got this on film, but it was weird. Like our both of our mouths just dropped because we're sitting here watching this guy go over this hump and right before he gets there and as he goes over the hump, the whole tule rack slid down the back of his teardrop onto the ground. And it's like, you're like jaws dropping and you're thinking, oh my God. I wonder if he knows that happened. Good thing he had, didn't have a whole lot of stuff on there. He's got his tule, um, Morning, his Milwaukee. Oh yeah, he's a Milwaukee guy in his spare tire. The whole thing slid off the top. Wow. The whole bracket broke. That's what it is on the other side. That bracket, I think. Yeah, you're in front of the dump. Right there. So this thing, this bracket came off. So what's the deal on this rack? That's a cable there. The ca yeah, that looks like his cable plug-in. Yeah, that came, here this came loose. And then, it, then the rest of it wouldn't hold it and it just came It down. slid right. I mean, I watched yeah. it slide. Did you watch it too, didn't you? I did. It's like, holy shit, we watched it slide right off the top of this thing. It didn't have too much damage. He's got some scratches here and there. Yeah, this looks right like here. it's brand new. Wow. He doesn't even have a campsite. He does now. That one over there is over there. So. Oh, yeah, that's, that's it. Nobody likes that campsite up there anyway. Nobody likes it. No. They're going to take all the things off the rack and then they'll put the rack is helping. on top of the pickup it's truck the and then move it. Have a great day and stay tuned for our next video. video.